All right, guys, how we doing? It's Monday, and uh, I've been pondering all weekend about uh, building a run stand for an engine. And uh, I had this old engine stand that was built. Shoot, I think I built that thing in back in 1980 in high school, 79, 80, somewhere along there, long time ago. But anyway, I got thinking about it. I said, shoot, I don't use that thing. It's built out of some heavy stuff. So I'm going to just build me a frame around it. As, you know, like I've done. Got, I got it clamped all together. Put casters on all four corners. And there's a steel bell housing deal that goes in up there. And then I think we'll just come off and brace across here and fix some brackets to come up, you know, for motor supports. And uh, build a radiator rack on the front and a battery rack and a little fuel tank thing. A little switch panel and go up top somewhere up there. I didn't quite figure that. We'll work our way into it and work our way out of it. But anyway, while we're waiting on a valve spring tool to come in for the 18 degree motor, cam and lifters for the 327. I got the heads done. I have got something accomplished. Heads are all finished and ready to go. Um, they clean them up and put a fresh coat of paint on them. But I got the only roller springs and messer on them now ready to go. Everything's specked out within three pounds of each other. After a, you know, a lot of messing and shimming to get them right, but they're, they're as close as I can get them. So anyway, we're just waiting on that now. And uh, I guess I'll see if I can't get right and start welding this thing together. And we'll see what we can come up with. Alright, I'll be back in just a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back. I uh, got started on it and I gone. had to go get some grinder wheel, got the cutting metal, and then next thing I know I'm out of argon when I go to weld. I must have left the bottle on or something last time. But anyway, that's, back up a little bit, we all can see a little butter. That's kind of my idea. The, uh, where these braces are here, it'll just come up, you know, 45 whatever it'll be with a setup deal to put the clamshell style motor mounts on the block just to give it a little extra support you know I have wheels on all swivel wheels on all four corners and then I welded that or oh, I got that clamped on there to weld on the back just to you know help give it a little more structural strength take some flex out of it will it work? I don't know but we'll find out it's, uh, it's all clamped up and ready to weld and uh, we still got a lot of welding to do on it but I think it'll be fine I mean I don't I don't know hell it hold a motor it ought to hold one running as long as you don't sit there and turn it 10,000 rearing on it but we'll see we'll see just how this works out but anyway I mean if I can't get this stuff welded up and uh, I'll get back with y'all all right See if we can go a little bit.
Alright. There you go. It ain't nothing beautiful, but it'll hold. I'm gonna come back over top of all of it, I think. No. Uh, braces there. Right there, go back over here into that. Yeah. Like I say, I'm a white electrician, I am not a welder. But it's fun to play with. But, but anyway, let's see if I can get a little more done on this rig. And uh, I'm about to drop the camera. Anyway, let me get a little more done on this thing, welding up and all, and we'll see what else we can come up with. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, well, now I got the lazy way to weld. Roll it over while I can get to it.
Anyway, guys, this is what the uh, well, me and this camera's not getting along. That's what the the bottom sides there is looking like. The braces that are running up. Um, I set them right. Down. I may have showed y'all. I'm not sure. Set them on the end. I just got them 24 inches square. Cut them. You know, and just laid them in there and welded them on. Uh, you know, on the outside the end and on the butt in there and on the top, across the upper upright, and then where the two meet together, I uh, sewed all that together. But that that's what it's gonna be. Let me uh, let me set it down, and I'll set the bell housing in it, and then y'all be able to see exactly what I'm thinking will work maybe. Let me get you back up here on the tripod. close to it a little better idea of what's gonna happen and say so there's two cross braces right there and there there'll be uprights coming up to where your motor supports would be you know typically on the car and then there'll be where it was just the engine stand won't be on the center I'm gonna put a double dual casters out here on the front corner I'm afraid it might get a little, you know, it may, I don't know. But anyway, steel bell housing out of a 64. I think it was in Apollo Super Sport. I believe where that thing come from. Probably worth a little money, not being on a daggone engine stand, but it is what it is. And uh, anyway, I think it ought to work. And I got some one by one angle there. I built a battery box you know back there and some kind of little fuel tank back there somewhere or maybe up here I don't know maybe up here there's no need fuel tank being in the back and had to come out to the front with it and that keep it away from the headers too but a battery box back there you know radiator some kind of support with a one inch tubing come up here and hold the radiator in place I had to figure all that out as we go. And I'm thinking, you know, back here somewhere, building some kind of little switch panel. I'm not sure yet. Somehow it may come off the side. I don't know. Yeah, you know, off the side. Put a little switch panel with the gauges. My, my buddy and my neighbor next door, he just. We were talking about it, and he just brought these gauges and stuff over here on his lunch break. They donate them to the engine stand. So, old Tom, he's wanting to build something, so we're going to do something with his dually. I think he's got a 94, 5, somewhere along in there, Chevrolet Crew Cab dually. Diesel, 6.5. And we're going to snatch it out and put a 350 in it. And uh, so that'll be an interesting little project. But anyway, we're gonna get his motor, make get it up here on this stand when we get get it running, and make sure everything's good. It's a used motor he's got. 
see what we come up with. But anyway, there's what we're doing today. It'll it'll work. It'll work maybe. Maybe my old welds ain't the prettiest in the world, but maybe they'll hold. I think they will. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna get right and call it a day, and we'll figure out the how we're gonna do the supports and the radiator support and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, all right. I'll see y'all later.